Good evening, and welcome to the Trade the Markets video. It is, well, it's 3.40 in the afternoon, so well, it's not quite good evening. Well, it's almost. All uh, right, so what are we so looking at? Let's do, the, let's do the free video first, and okay. you just want to look at the S&Ps on the free video? Free video, I think this is a short. Uh, I'm giving it a shot. So, well, here's the question. Were you surprised by today's rally, or did you expect today's rally? I did not expect today's rally, but I am not surprised either just because it's been so beaten down. I mean, it, it's, it's going to have a dead cat bounce again. Yeah, it's pretty volatile. I mean, yeah. yesterday, yesterday looking, especially after yesterday when we had the gap up and the sell-off, you know, looking at that, if it would have said, okay, John, you think it's going to revert to the mean or retest the lows? I'd have, I'd have said about, okay, 60 65% it's going to retest the lows. Obviously, we we're not going that way. C, I'm looking at... Keep doing that, and I'm going to do something really quick while you're okay. looking at Okay. I mean, intraday, so the thing was on something like this, this was a really, and we were sitting here at the mentorship today and doing live trades, and intraday, this was a fantastic trading day. Uh, everything just moved along with the ticks. You know, we were able to really map out what was happening on the ticks and uh, get some nice trades, and that was great. Swing trading, though, this is a bitch. I mean, this is not the easiest market to swing trade. The only safe entries here, you know, you're looking at this going like, okay, I want to get short. I don't want to miss the move breaking new lows, but the only safe entry is up here at 1190, 1190 to 1200 is really the only safe short entry, I think. I, 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 I agree. I think it's a better entry. Hit me plus up, please. I think uh, one more, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep going. How about that? There you go. So I think you can also do it with a little bit more risk, like go bot top there bottom here and then you've got a, a minor 50 percent retracement i mean if i'm wrong there i'm going to fall back That's and do true. it again you right. see what i'm saying so okay so now and i'm not and i'm not so right here if you're looking at this going do you think that i'd do it later tonight i wouldn't do it right now okay i'd do it when the european market opens up on the e-minis i would short that okay and I think right now, I mean, the rumors are like, okay, Fed's going to intervene, so it's prompting some short covering. But so if the Fed actually intervenes, do you think the market rallies or you sell the news? I'm sorry, I don't hear news. Um, <laughs> okay, so it yeah. does not matter. <laughs> what do you mean you don't hear news? <laughs> it doesn't matter to me one way or the other. I don't, I don't really matter. For me, it's all risk to, risk to reward ratio. So here I'm willing to bet that it could fall apart again. And okay. I'm willing to risk a very little bit to see if I'm right or wrong. So day trading, I'm going to put an order tomorrow here um, on the S and P's at about 11.90, and I'm really going to risk 20 points for a retest of the lows, and I'll get some options on the spiders. If we don't get up to that level, that's going to be the question. Now day trading, it doesn't matter, but I'm talking about holding a position for a couple of weeks or something. Yeah. So like what that. do you do if um, it does not rally up there and then it sells off again? That's a. It's tough because it's like really the only time you can really catch that is really day trading because I don't want to chase it as a swing trade. It's about the only way you can do it. You, yeah. You'll just have to catch it on something like that. But I mean, this morning we gapped up pretty good. We filled the gap, and then after you filled the gap, then we ran hard. So that's normal and natural. At least we did not gap up and cruise higher. Yeah, and the gap and, and this morning it was actually yeah because we caught the gap fill and that was nice. And then um, I think by the time we went to lunch, the S and P's were up like thirteen or fourteen or something like that. And then uh, then we had the nice rally at the end of the day, and that was. We were all just that was kind of fun. So overall, not not a bad day. The, the morning was a little bit harder to trade than the afternoon, but other than that, it's pretty good trading. Okay, so now, okay, so that's the free video. So on the premium video, what's the first market you want to talk about? Probably gold. Uh, yeah, either that or bonds, either one. Yeah, let's look at a gold daily chart and then we'll look at the intraday action. Okay. All right. So we mentioned this last night, but this is the thing that we wanted to focus on tonight because we have a very special event coming up next week. It's going to be three solid days. Three days from eight fifteen until around noon, give or take, right? on um, Tuesday, August the 30th, through September the 1st. All right? It's going to be by Rob Hoffman. Right. It's going to be how to become a more consistent and profitable trader. Basically, he's going to show you how he trades, what he does in a live environment, trading his own real live trading account. Now, there's well, only a thousand seats available. Right. And these things have, these things have always overflowed because it's a three day, it's three days and it's free. So the idea is that you get to you get some exposure to Rob. And the thing that I'm excited about, and we've had a, you know, he and I had a, a five hour dinner in Chicago, and I was up there last week, and you know just kind of you know talking back and forth about the changes that he's made in the trading room. And the thing that really struck me is that in the, the trading room or in his trading too. In well, in his trading room and in his trading, yeah. is really focusing on the trading room as an income generator for. You know, people that are trading one to three lots. Now, if you're trading more than that, you just multiply it. Yeah, just add, just yeah, add a zero. Time, yeah. yeah, just add But the idea is that, lots. yeah, if you're paying whatever it is you're paying, I don't know, you know, some some people are paying $395 a month to be in his room. Some people, you know, there's different, you know, just depending on where right, they got right. in. 
But let's say it's, you know, if you're trading one to three lots, you should be able to at least re recap your investment of $395 and, and then some. So I actually look at it as an ROI kind of a thing. So if you're spending $395 a month for Rob's room, then you should be able to at least make that and then some. So if you can make $700, you're getting 100% or whatever it is. You know, if you make $800, you just made a 100% return. Hopefully to God you're your making cost. more than $700 in a month. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing about it is, is what you're going to learn during these three days is what he's done to kind of really just kind of focus on that, hey, ROI on the investment that you're making in the room. So it's going to be three, you know, free for three days um, and, and not so much the, you know, some of the bigger trades that he does. Yeah, he's, he's got the size more under a manageable control and stuff like that. And he's got a, an account set up to where he's, he's going to trade only $25,000 in an account because there are quite a few people out there that only have that amount in their account. Right. Um, now, one thing, this happens every single time we do this. This thing gets overbooked. You will not be able to get in. There are only a thousand seats in GoToWebinar. One thousand. You can call GoToWebinar. It doesn't go high, any higher than that. We can't do anything about that. If there's two thousand people that register, this is how the statistics work on it. If a two thousand people sign up, a thousand will show up. So if 3,000 show up, there's going to be 1,500 people that show up. 500 yeah. of them will be pissed. So make sure that you register early and often with your first name, your primary email address, and then your telephone number will send you a voice blast prior to the webinar to let you know, like, hey, don't forget to log in. Well, and also because we open up the room early, and that way you know when you can get in. Exactly. Because if you try to get in, like, right at 8.15, you may not get a spot. Exactly. So once again, it happens Tuesday, August the 30th. Next week. Yeah, next week. And it goes from the 30th through the 1st. And uh, good luck. Hope it helps. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.